Good morning, Wildcats. My name is Lyrica. My name is Jermaine. Well, welcome to Woodland Park Magic School located in Hamlin, Louisiana at WP26, the Wildcat News. Today is Monday, February 18, 2019. Everyone, please stand for the pleasure of reason and raise your right hand over your heart. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the flag for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Now for the morning announcements. We would like to invite everyone to attend our next basketball game on Saturday at the Henry Rick Center. We play at 2 o'clock. Hope you can attend. We are selling specials on Wednesday morning for only $1. Miss Denise has a lot of new pencils. Ask her if you can smell them. Today is President Day. Stay tuned for a special segment on the President. This is our own announcements. Project is all about presidents. When I grow up, I want to be the president of the United States. Why? Well, when you're president, you get to live in the White House. And you get your own helicopter and airplane. You could fly anywhere you want. I would fly to Disney World like every day. And presidents can say no to other people's new laws. That's called a veto. I would say N-O to all the boring laws and replace them with awesome ones. Like the law about having to take math tests. I would veto that. Bedtime is 8.30, young lady. Bedtime? Veto! New law, no bedtime! And presidents get to have their faces on cool stuff, like money, and mountains, and on Halloween masks. So, who are some of America's presidents from history? Let's start with the very first president, George Washington. He helped start the USA with his friends over 200 years ago. He wore a wig and had wooden teeth. <laughs> And he was not nice to his cherry tree, but at least he told the truth about it. Sorry. Abraham Lincoln was the 16th president of the United States. He was the tallest president ever, and not just because he wore such a big hat. Here's an awesome fact about Abe Lincoln. He was a wrestler. Maybe that's how he won the election. I wonder if he had a cool wrestling nickname like The Rock. The Lincolnator. Awesome fact number two. Lincoln logs are named after him because he was born in a log cabin. He was really smart, and he kept the country together, which I really appreciate. Another president who had a toy named after him is Teddy Roosevelt, our 26th president. Hmm, the Roosevelt bear? Oh wait, the teddy bear. That's kind of cool. I'd like a bear named after me, too. He didn't actually have any bears in the White House, but Calvin Coolidge had a pet hippopotamus, and Herbert Hoover had pet alligators. Some presidents had cool hobbies. Teddy Roosevelt liked to walk around on stilts. Maybe he wanted to be taller than Abe Lincoln. The 44th president, Barack Obama, collects comic books. His favorites are Conan the Barbarian and Spider-Man. Ronald Reagan, the 40th president, was an actor. He was in a movie with a monkey. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson, president number three, invented the swivel chair and built a macaroni machine. Maybe he liked to spin around while eating mac and cheese. Sometimes presidents get in trouble. One time, the 18th president, Ulysses S. Grant, got a ticket for speeding on his horse. <laughs> William Taft was the 27th president. Sometimes he got stuck in the bathtub. I hope he kept some toys in there. It's also super important that presidents read a lot of books and know a lot of stuff. The 42nd president, Bill Clinton, knows a lot. One time a guy gave him a quiz about My Little Pony, and Bill Clinton got all the questions right. I wonder who is his favorite pony. My favorite pony is Rainbow Dash. And my favorite president might be Kid President. He's into hugs, dance breaks, and just being awesome. So basically, presidents are cool and get to stay up late and watch My Little Pony and walk around on stilts and get toys and bears named after them. And that's why I want to be president. Hello, my name is Kalasha. I am here at the Wildcat Cafe. Today the lunch is kicking chicken. I hope you enjoy your lunch today. My dream is Spider-Man.
I hope you have a long day. Remember, R is for respect. O is for ownership. A is for attitude. And R is for responsibility. Now let's get Ron Rockets. Right.